Now that you know what a polynomial is, let's talk about how we can multiply polynomials by each other. The first type of multiplication of a polynomial I want to take a look at is a monomial by a monomial. So when you have a monomial, that means a polynomial with only one term. So an example of a monomial would be 4xy. A term is combined using constants and variables as with multiplication. So we have 4x times y, and let's multiply that by another monomial, 10x squared y squared. Now when you're multiplying this, you're going to use the exact same rules for exponents. So you multiply the constants, 4 times 10, which would be 40, and then you multiply the x's, x times x squared is x cubed, and then last the y's, y times y squared is y cubed. So the multiplication of a monomial times a monomial, you just multiply each like variable or like constant. Now let's take a look how we would multiply a monomial by a polynomial. So let's say I have, for example, 4xy again, but I'm going to multiply it by 6x squared plus 7x. All right, the 4xy is a monomial because there's only one term. The 6x squared plus 7x is a binomial because there's two terms. So when you are multiplying a monomial by any polynomial, what I like to do is I take this 4xy and I multiply it by the 6x squared first and then I multiply it by the 7x. So we have 4xy times 6x squared. You multiply the constants. So this is going to be the same process as multiplying the monomial by a monomial, but you'll do it two times. You'll have 24x cubed, and then there's no y to multiply, so it just stays y. And then 4 times 7 is 28. x times x is x squared, and then the y. And that is multiplying a monomial by a poly polynomial. Let's take a look at one more. All right, so we have 2x to the fourth times 4x cubed minus 7x squared plus 3x plus 1. So the bigger polynomial has four terms. So we need to multiply that 2x to the fourth by each of the four terms. So let's start off with 2x to the fourth times 4x cubed. We would have 8x to the seventh. The next one is 2x to the fourth times negative 7x squared, so we've got negative 14x to the sixth. Then we have 2x to the fourth plus times positive 3x would be plus 6x to the fifth. And the last one here, 2x to the 4th times 1 is 2x to the 4th. Okay, so whenever you're multiplying a monomial by a polynomial, you should have the same amount of terms in your final answer as the polynomial. So the last type of polynomial multiplication is a polynomial by another polynomial. So an example of that would be x plus 1 times x plus 3. And I like to think of this one as foil. First, outer, inner, last. First, outer, inner, last. First, outer, inner, last. All right, so another way you can look at this 
And I've found that setting this up into a chart has really helped. You can take x plus 1, and let's write this here, and x plus 3. So we're going to go the first ones to first. x times x is x squared. x times 3 is plus 3x. Then we'll go to the 1. 1 times x is 1x. And 1 times 3 is plus 3. So what I have done is I have multiplied each of these terms by the second group. So it's the same thing we were doing before. It's a monomial times a polynomial. But since you have multiple monomials that become a binomial or a polynomial, they need to just multiply each of the other polynomial. Now after I get this, I have x squared, and then you combine like terms. So I have 3x plus x would be 4x, and then plus 3. So that would be the multiplication of that binomial times a binomial. All right, let's take a look at a couple more examples here. All right, so this would be x squared minus 3x times x cubed minus 4. Now the most tempting thing on this is to multiply the first terms by each other and then multiply the last terms by each other. But you can't do that because this x squared is being multiplied by this whole group and the x cubed is also being multiplied by the whole group. So what you want to do, you can set it up in the chart like we did here, but let's try it without the chart. So I'm going to start with my first terms. I'm going to go x squared times x to the third. All right, x squared times x to the third is x to the fifth. That's my first, my first terms. Then I'm going to multiply my x squared times the 4. That's the outer. So x squared times negative 4 is negative 4x squared. So that's the first, then the outer of our foil, now the inner. I'm going to take this negative 3x and multiply each of these terms. So let's go negative 3x times negative x cubed is Sorry, negative 3x times positive x cubed is negative 3x to the fourth. And then the last one is negative 3x times negative 4. So that would be plus 12x. All right, now this is our polynomial. However, you always want your polynomial to be written in decreasing powered order. So I want to first go x to the fifth. And since x to the fourth is bigger than x squared, I need to write that 3x to the fourth first, and then I can write the negative 4x squared plus the 12x. And we have our final answer. That is that binomial times the binomial. All right, let's take a look at one more. This one is actually pretty tricky but it's going to use the same concept. Now here I have a trinomial times another trinomial. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you start with your first term. And this first term is going to multiply each of the terms in the second polynomial. So I end up with x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 7x is plus 7x to the third. x squared times negative 4 is negative 4x squared. Okay, once you have done that, this x squared is done. You've multiplied that x squared by every term, so you move on to the next term, which would be negative x, negative 3x. So I'm going to take this negative 3x, and I'm going to multiply each of the terms. 
So I've got negative 3x times x squared is negative 3x cubed. Negative 3x times positive 7x is minus 21x squared. And negative 3x times negative 4 is plus 12x. Now you have officially multiplied this negative 3x by each of the terms in the second polynomial. So let's move on to that last one, this one. This one needs to multiply each of the terms as well. So I have 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 7x is plus 7x and 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Now that polynomial looks giant. However, you can actually simplify this a lot. And you look, just need to look for like terms. Like terms means they have the same variable and the same power. So there are no x force to be combined with the first one, so we just have x to the fourth power. Now let's look for the x cubed. So I have x cubed, x cubed, and that is all for my x cubed. So I have 7x cubed minus 3x cubed, which would be 4x cubed. Okay, now let's look for the x squared. So here's negative 4x squared, negative 21x squared, and 1x squared. So negative 4 minus 21 is negative 25x squared. Negative 25 plus 1 is negative 24x squared. And I'm just double checking, making sure that I did that right, and we're good. Okay, then we have the x cubed, or x to the first, sorry. 12x plus 7x would be... 19x, and then the 4 is all by itself, so I'm just going to go minus 4. So still a fairly large polynomial, and there we go. The degree of this polynomial is the fourth degree because its highest power is 4. Its leading coefficient is a positive 1. That is it for multiplying polynomials by each other.